Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Starbound as Oreo Guzzler today is trying to... First off, I've not actually organized the ship, but today we're trying to get oil so we can get steel, so we can keep moving on, moving on. And we're actually going to explore a, a different planet today here, as we're just... Well, not exactly what I wanted to do, but there is another desert planet in the system here. I thought there was one that there was a moon, and a Delta at a per Minoris 1C which does have, looks like some sandstorms and some sun, but it is a little smaller to go over. Now, we do want oil, which comes from one of two places, which is going to be the, uh, if there's tar on the planet, then we can dig through it and oil will come that way, and sometimes you have to dig pretty deep, or if we actually find oil wells or something, we can use the matter manipulator to get that. Now, the catch is that my weapons kind of suck. So, we're going to a mostly harmless planet, which means that it could actually be quite harmful. Unless I can find some kind of upgrade at all, but I'm kind of hoping that because it is a mostly harmless planet that I can do something a little better than I've been able to here. So let's just heal up real quick as soon as we land. And here is our moon around the gas giant as our poor spaceship still won't FTL. Alright, so right away, this is really good news here because we started in a tar biome. If I could just get a little bit closer here, so we learned to craft tar ball, and I'm actually digging from the back of the area, so I accidentally just drained all the tar from there, or all the oil. That's too bad. Are you being aggressive? I think you're being aggressive. I think you're both being aggressive, and that's not very nice. So we're just gonna shoot you. Wow. Wow. That dodging. Best dodging ever. So yeah, when you right-click to mine, who remembers that it uh, actually <laughs> takes out your stuff? That's a really high jump, so wow. You'd think bullets would fly faster. But we're doing it this way because my weapon stinks a little bit. Alright, so we do have some oil here to be gotten. And I guess from here we just need some... There we go, so lantern, lantern, stick. We're just going to have to dig down here too, I think, as you are going to be, be aggressive as well. Ugh, alright. Well, you got to get a little messy sometimes, but yeah, tar. I said, when you dig in the tar, you get oil, but this is just a really sh stroke of good luck here, because we just need all the oil we can get. Which I guess means the other thing I'm going to need now is iron. And this is coal. We'll need some more coal, because we're going to need... Uh, to make more torches, because I'm only I'm down to 12, so we're gonna go ahead and get some of our things here. I'm glad I decided to go to a different planet, and it does have a shorter day cycle. And this is actually a really interesting place because we do have the bone thing here. And oh, I thought they said the birds were fixed in this game. I guess they weren't kidding. Well, at least he's gonna be shooting fish in a barrel, birds in a tree. I don't know. We are going to be hitting nighttime here before long, as that's not where I thought the tree would be falling down. Just need more unrefined wood, because we are going to be going underground here pretty soon. Because I think I don't have a lot of iron left. Or if I do, I left it all on the ship. At least I better have left it all on the ship. So, what do you know? It's dark. Alright, so let's just go around and around. And if there's a way to uh, upgrade the brightness on this, unfortunately... It's not through my recording software, because I use cheapo recording software. So we're just going to be in the desert, going down the paths. So you, everybody, everybody wants to get a piece of me now, as we have actually some cute little bugs. Oh, you look really terrifying, too. So yeah, I'm just kind of looking for signs of life here. I do like some of the enemy, uh, like patterns and everything, but there's a treasure chest. Are you going to be able to follow me down here? I expect that you will. It's so one, you are, I don't want to know if you're puking, but you might want to get that checked out. Alright. So we got sand and raw steak and a carrot. That's not going to matter, because... See, that's the thing. With a mostly harmless planet like this, I still don't want to get hit. So we're kind of still in that zone with this game. So we really gotta watch the uh, medical stuff here, and oh, splintered pursuer, a two-handed. Uh, well, we'll give it a try. It's a crossbow. 
So that's not fantastic, but on the other hand, it is a lot stronger than my gun. And I got bouncy shots. That's what it looks like. Well, we're going to give this the old try here. Oh, I'm bouncing. That's not great, I guess. Maybe it means I don't take fall damage either, but there we go. Now, I assume some of these things are techs that will eventually... Whoop! That's not what we want. Yeah, that does more damage. Unfortunately, uh, kind of hitting a dead end here a little bit. So my next goal here is to get iron. But I do, as I always say, I do like exploring the uh, planet's surface. Just so that we can kind of get the lay of the land a little bit. See if there's any, like, big stuff here. So what do we got? Okay, so I'm just bouncy. I'm actually, this is actually really annoying. Because every time I'm getting hit here, I'm losing practically my whole health bar. And if I'm not careful, I may just need to retreat here. So I got sticky ribs. I guess that's okay. Yeah, more coal, more dangerous things here. What is my armor situation? Deputy slacks. I do, I do need steel armor before long, so that's one thing. Said so sometimes there's surface iron, and let's see, maybe you're friendly? No, it looks like it's just an old caravan. And we don't have anything really to cook other than, uh, are the raw steaks going to actually be something that heals me? Because they did take out hunger. I don't know if you noticed that. They take out hunger, they took out coldness, and maybe it'll come back one day, so we'll see. Slab of delicious meat. Will you heal me? Maybe. Well, I'm not hungry anymore. And I'm getting healed just a little bit over time. So that's a, po that's a positive. What do we got down here? We got a few torches now. So yeah, I guess we're just... I, like I said, I, I know I'm going to need some more coal later. I'm a little surprised at uh, how few, like... NPCs I've seen so far is like before I was on a pretty big streak of uh, actually whoa that's a little farther than I bargained for but okay let's go underground and we went underground and did not get a lot so some coal here we'll have to dig deeper to get uh, the good old iron stuff because that doesn't always come out in a hurry fortunately blocks make up for uh, lots of deficiencies here so I got my gun out, or oh, crossbow, which two shots things, which is really fortunate. I am I am digging what this uh, steak's doing for me here, so we will pick up and cook more steaks because that's a nice heal over time. And you may hear a printer talking in the background there because that's that's what happens with technology; it just has a mind of its own. And do do do, be a little easier to see things if it were daytime. And we have another desert caravan. Oh, I can actually sleep in it. That's cute. And you are actually going to try and kill me, so... Getting a little better. Raw poultry. Let's see what's down here. I'm really hoping for some surface iron. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to dig for it. And that's okay. That is totally fine. Whoop! Whoop! Wow. It's quite the charge. So once again, I just kind of want to get around the planet. And I guess those beetles explode. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some other stuff here. So, Maltov. And a uh, bounding leg armor. Eh. We won't do too much with that. And let's see here. Uh, Bedouin head armor. Which does what for us? Gives us a little bit of energy. Not a lot. Not like uh, the cowboy hat. Let's see, what does this do? More speed. Speed is good. Too much speed, though, can be a problem. If you're not used to controlling yourself here, it actually looks like I'm setting the ground on fire, literally. So, it's exactly what we want in a desert planet. And, whoa! Okay. Well, at least we know we can get out of here, but it looks like we are in danger. And it looks like we're in danger. Alright. Well, we found something! That, what was I just complaining about? All right, so we don't have, we have oil, and we don't have steel right now. Steel bar. So we need an iron bar. We have, we have a lot of oil. 
Fortunately, the landing site here will get us some more oil. So the first thing we need to do here, do I have uh, iron bar? So I have a little bit. I guess what I should really do is just set this down here. Ah, what is that? My mouse is just dying on me all of a sudden. All right, oil, we are gonna put you in here. That way we know we have it. And if we drop other resources, we drop it. So we got uh, we got some places to explore now, which is exciting. And uh, we're just going to have to get down there. Because like I said, it's a matter of maybe if I put a shield up, I could try and get it. But just the, the rapid fire there for my health is just not great. We'll do the heal over time thing again. Might as well cook some more of these steaks while we're here. We five, four, we'll have those later. So I'm equipping a stake right now. And I think now we're gonna dig. We have an interesting thing to explore, and we have lots of oil to be had, so maybe I can just go ahead and purge all of the resources from this plant. I feel really dumb for uh, <laughs> punching out the back of that, because that literally just goes to the back of the planet. Literally. Okay, so it is daytime. You know what? I'm, I really shouldn't waste the daytime exploration here. So we will just go ahead and uh, take all of the oil. Because all oil really does is slow us down. And this will replenish itself over a few thousand years, I guess, right? That's the plan. And you're not going to hurt me, so that's good. So tar biome is what we want. And we can actually probably craft a few more torches here. I need some more wooden planks, don't I? We can make a Nova Kid flag too, which is pretty nice, but we are for now. Got a little bit of coal. Let's go ahead and grab this easy coal here. Get us some more tar. Now I don't remember if we actually refine tar into oil or if oil just comes out sometimes. I'm sure there's a way to craft oil. Because you know that's how it works, right? But I mean, if we dig in this enough, there's going to be a lot of oil here. So I should, if there's a way I can flag this planet as like big oil planet, that'd be good. Because this is all the oil we'll need. In fact, it looks like we have a special oily chest. Good thing I went that way. And we have prehistoric fur tail. Ugh. So for all you Dragon Ball fans or something, iron ore, silver ore. So not a waste. And that's a cool chest, so we'll keep it. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do the spelunking when it hits night again. I think. So I want to. I like exploring the surface during the day. So much oil. Just feel like Dick Cheney or something. And some of you have no idea what that means because you're that little. But that's okay. Uh, let's see here. So no hunger and covered in oil. And there's another chest. And there's another thing that I think is going to try and kill me. So let's shoot it for. Oh, once again. Okay, with the crossbow, I understand a little bit more because it's a crossbow. But I swear, the bullet's just dying when uh, when they hit anything sucks. Like, I hit bones and it dies. So there we go. Uh, chest blueprint, that's good. We can actually go ahead and probably use that. So we have way more materials to put in here as whoever was aggressive before has kind of forgotten about me because he's an oily mess. So learn to craft a chest, I can do that myself. Now you're the aggressive ones. And I still can't aim to save my life. Fortunately, this gun does one-shot them now, so... I'm not that far off. So this, this, oil, this oil biome goes a long way, and it has plant life, somehow. And I thought you guys were still, like, nighttime only, but apparently you're daytime too. Alright, so we got a few little bugs over here. We're looking for surface iron at this point. Okay, wow, I didn't actually kill you. You're gonna charge, and it's gonna be massive. Ooh. And I'm getting a little better. I was never great at aiming these when I was first playing, because I didn't get them very often. Okay, so that's a cute little bird that we don't want to shoot. That, on the other hand, is not a very cute bird, and we get more seeds, because seeds are good. You do want to have a variety of things to farm. And yeah, so just kind of a relaxing stroll around a pink desert planet, 
And who are you? Put away. Alright, so... Florin satisfied. So is this an actual Florin village or is this a Florin person? Uh, it's, it's a few people. Oh, wow. Strange things. Strange things. So good. I think we actually found a little bit of a settlement. And I was just wondering what was going on here. So it's nice that they still get mad at you when you point things out. But we actually do need to... Uh, if we find a vendor, we need to get a few things from here. But this is also possibly a good place to find a weapon or something. Like that. A Hoddle Stabber. A two-handed sword. That's actually really cool looking. And it's rare. So uh, let's see here. Anyway, we, we can finally upgrade over some of this other stuff here. And uh not sure why the resolution's doing that all the way down here, except I'm playing in windowed mode. Damage per swing, 93. Damage per swing, so... Screeching Skull Crusher is good. I may stick with the Stabber for now, just because it's special in blue. Let's just... Ah, my mouse is acting up again. See, this is good. Kiwi's good. Silver Pickaxe. Pickaxe which are still good for digging. I think that axe is going to be stronger, but we'll keep the range weapon too. So that's nice. Yay, our weapon problems are solved. Which means we're just going to need to get armor eventually. But another thing I'm looking for for a quest is a cool jacket from somebody, and everybody's like, strange thing. Well, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, we still got a little bit of lag here. And this chest, which nobody seems to care that I'm just taking stuff away. The dusk bringer. We'll, we'll hold on to our weapons, and we need more torches, so that's good. Now, I could try and kill everybody here to get even more weapons, and sometimes that's a great way to get more weapons, but I don't want to do that until it's clear that I have good enough armor to make that happen. So, Florin settlement in a desert doesn't quite make sense. And it's funny that they don't all want to talk to me or eat me. Maybe it's because I'm made of gas, or maybe it's because Nova Kids are new and they don't have a lot of interactions yet. Oh, close myself out as there's an avian, looks like. No, Florin, he just had a torch in his face. Oh, that time when you confuse a bird person with a plant person is awkward. All right, so stay out of trouble before Florin will eat you. Now, that's the Florins that I remember. My first character was a Florin in this game, and I swear he ate a lot. So we do have the Iron Road Journal, which we're not going to concern ourselves too much with the lore right now. But let's see if this bookshelf has anything. Yeah has a few things but right now like I said I'm, I kind of have some specific things in mind as much as I want to terrorize and like kill all the peasants or something I'm gonna try and be a happy-go-lucky normal Nova kid and not concern myself with it as much so the Florence settlements about the same as before a little confused that I'm not seeing a vendor anywhere okay so but yeah everybody just says that I'm strange And that's just guards. Well, I'm glad I found some of the good stuff here. Let's see what's in here. No one's getting mad, fortunately, about me just poking my head in the chest and taking enough pixels to buy more fuel. Haha. -ha. It's Zelda rules, apparently. Now, technically, you can, I think... Yeah, this is not marked as, a. Uh, this is not marked as, uh, like, building stuff. Like, some of the dungeons will actually not let you mine stuff out, as we've already seen on the moon with the outpost. So, I can actually take a lot of these supplies and hold on to them myself. So, that's pretty cool. But there we go. Let's actually test out the sword here. Okay, that is way more valuable than a slightly better gun. Whoop! Did I actually just piss him off? That's not what I'm supposed to do. I was just testing out my weapon and it has a cool shooty bubble thing, so that's that's good. That's why we like the blue weapons, and it's very fortunate that I found it early. So let's see now, because I much prefer melee combat to range combat, but it's good that I have the crossbow, because it's decent. There we go, so a little bit of damage. And this has a range component to it with the bubbles. Now, I don't think they really had a lot in the way of like elemental weaknesses or stuff. I know they talked about it previously, but there's a little bit of coal. And this weapon doesn't really light things up, so... Yeah, I think our next goal is uh, we've got a we've got a better weapon. That was kind of goal B for this video, but I didn't want to get too excited about it. So let's see if we can find that other place that we got to real quick. Because I have a feeling, since this is a moon, it's not very big. Wow, so I just got hit with the full beetle swarm. Yay, and that is a... Uh, that's a lot of coal right in my face, so I might as well take it. So 
So it's nice when it feels like you're progressing just a little bit here. Unfortunately, desert plants are pretty easy to dig into, so we should be able to get through some of this before too long. Eh. We'll just use the dirt clods, though, to get up. Good enough for me. So, back to nighttime exploration. There are some bugs here. That is a uh, much better crossbow than what I'm using right now. So that's good. 48 damage per shot versus uh, not 48 damage per shot. 35 damage per shot. Energy per shot is 35. Energy per shot is 48. So that one hits a lot harder, but it's... Uh, not strong, and that is a lantern. All right, let's try it out. New weapons. Okay, you're on fire. Good. Now you can get gear to increase your uh, ability to like carry stuff, so that's that's a positive. Like I said, I just want to get back to that person that was shooting the crap out of me before, because I got something for me now. Is I I gotta really remember the buttons. I just keep automatically doing the wrong switch for gear. So we got a little bit more tar. You're not aggressive. You're aggressive. You're really aggressive. And I just pincered attack myself here. So that was fortunate that I got out of there. So is this a second tar biome? So we got a lot of oil. That's great. So I guess we'll just probably here yeah, just come at me. Now, I am still drowning even though I'm made out of gas, but I guess it's also interesting because I'm, uh... Well, let's see here. Let's not get ourselves killed. I got a lot of bandages. Might as well use them. You're aggressive. Yeah, but I think what we should definitely do, since we have, a uh, like, oil slicks everywhere, is just shoot fire. Shoot incendiary rounds with the oil. Sounds like a good plan. So I have different elemental weapons, which is good. That hits them in one shot, and suddenly I'm feeling a little better. Like I said, you just that starter gear makes things a little tough. I mean, they got away. I don't know if any, how many of you played like the earliest versions that were released to the public for Starbound. You can watch some of my old videos for some of the comparisons, but it would get pretty wacky. Where eventually it's just like if you didn't one shot your opponent. You'd be done. And actually, I know for a fact I didn't go all the way around the planet. Because there's oil here that I have not collected. So here we are. Temple! Please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I said don't hurt me and we're... Kiting. Oh, shit. Gotta actually use my weapon again. There we go. Ha. Ah. I'm used to uh, handling that a different way. So we got another person here. Wow. And I'm dead. That sucks. Alright, well I guess we'll have to come back to that. I thought for sure that maybe I could have uh, handled that a little better. But the uh, good news is that I do have some... At least I should have some iron to go... Well, not iron, but I should have some more oil here. So that's going to be plenty. Uh, we'll see what's in that kind of floor in place in a future video here. Because I'm not going to leave that unexplored. But what I do think I'm going to do here is to start working my way down. Because we need to get some iron. We need to we need to work on progression. When a planet is mostly harmless like this, that means that we're going to need to start getting some steel equipment. And I have the oil for it, I just need to get the uh, other stuff for it. And once again, we get back to the, I'd love to be able to get underground a little easier than I am right now. But we gotta dig down a little bit just to get to the deserts. Not get to the desert, get to something else. Get to the iron. We don't need all of the iron, we just need enough of the iron. And just get out of here. Now it looks like I actually do have a little bit of light from my lantern, which is great. But unfortunately, well, let's see here. If I had something that could, like, tell me where the uh, actual stuff was, that would help. Let's let's go ahead. Since we happened to find a pickaxe, let's use the pickaxe. See, that's just super fast. 
super fast, big areas. It's silver, but look at how quickly its uh, energy is degrading. So we kind of want to not waste it too badly. Although I feel like that's exactly what I'm doing here. So we'll mark this. Yeah, you can't repair these pickaxes anymore, but so being able to get through all this in one shot's nice. There's more coal, like I said. I don't need coal as much as I need some other stuff here. And it sounds like you could, if you hear that roaring in the background, that is a sandstorm. So we got plenty of coal. But yeah, here is the new nerfed pickaxes, I guess you could say. Like I said, all it's, all, all it's ever going to take is like that one big set of uh, iron. Just one. You don't want to dig too far down. But desert planets, I've always liked digging in them a little bit. Just because they're easier to get in through and everything. So it looks like we're going to be done with this pickaxe before long. It's going to break here any moment. There we go. Alright, so did we miss any iron? I don't think so. So back to ye old matter manipulator. We're just going to dig down. Oh, well. There's silver. That's what it, I guess that's what it always boils down to is like you need you need iron so you get something else. And we actually actually hit another underground place. So and there is some iron. Oh, well, might as well Okay, so there's a lot of tor there's a lot of torches here. Why am I picking up torches? That does not seem like what I should be picking up in that situation. Oh, because I'm laying down torches. It's like, well, my torch numbers are not increasing either. There we go. That just looks like the uh, guy's peeing now. Alright, so we'll get that water level down just a little bit. And I don't know if this is a micro dungeon or just a small little underground cavern. But the important thing is that there is some iron here. And we can dig in this way just to make sure we don't fall into a trap. That actually looks like that's coal. So here we go. Oh, there's the iron mother load. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, good. So we'll see what treasures are abound here, and I'll call this a pretty successful video, I think. I mean, that's not always my place to judge, but other than me not really being like, oh, look at this. Look at all the torches I'm getting. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm, I'm a joke. I'm a fool. I'll be the first to tell you that. Yeah, as we're just gonna casually tease you here is like look what's to the right to the right is a cool floor and thing but that may also kill us so we're gonna need the thing is is that we're gonna need a lot of iron so the more we can dig around here the better and I haven't done anything off camera yet but if it's just me trying to farm some equipment to get some steel stuff I may try and just kind of do some stuff off camera and just if there's something interesting that's great. One unfortunate thing is that you'll notice I'm not doing like as much fancy pants like transitions or stuff or anything or speeding up or slowing down. Part of the reason is because my recording software that I'm using, it does not actually like process at 60 frames per second, which is what I'm recording at for this. And what I'd like to keep recording at for this. So I'm looking for some either more cost effective or just different solutions for, uh, hmm, interesting, uh, what's the inspect button again? I forget if it's V or what, but a skull and a spike, a floor and favorite, so you, you say this just like everybody else. But yeah, I'm just looking for uh, some different possible solutions, it looks like we're just in a, a floor and trap room, and a badass thrasher. Is How much stronger is that than this sword? Uh, DPS 135 swing speed there, DPS 158. Yeah, we'll give that a try now. This one has a lot of special stuff too, but copper, iron, yeah, lots of good stuff here. Small primitive chest. We'll pick that up as well. So let's see here. Okay, it's just a clover. I may actually hold on to this for now, just because. Well, we want the we want the gun. It's funny how I've gone from we don't want shit with that gun to we want the gun. All right, so there's a little bit more iron down there. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can get to it right away, so we'll just probably, uh, 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 okay, well, let's dig, and I hope you all don't, oh, wow, uh, I did not mean to take that whole thing apart, but I did, 
Okay, so we're back to carp copper over here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, zoom out of here and call this a video. So we're going to dig, dig, dig a little more. And uh, you know, while we got some time, might as well actually just go ahead and get the crafting stuff together. So let's save and quit. Total cheese, but at least we can get through to there right away. And we're back on the ship. And we need to process this. Well, we need to process the steel by actually getting our materials out. Uh, iron bar, iron ore. Fortunately, we don't have to sit here and wait for all this, so we can craft all of these. It used to be I had to sit a really long time. And steel bar. How many steel bars can I make? 38? Not bad. 34? Not awesome. And with our iron workbench, we can make what? What do we need to make steel again? It's going to be the uh, steel metal workstation. Make alloys and the strong, useful equipment. So let's craft that. And we don't have a lot of room for it right now, but uh, God, I gotta do some inventory management for series here. Used to be able to stack some of the stuff on top of each other, but now I guess we're putting it here. Is that is something that's very familiar to me from destroying the penguin UFO once upon a time. And steel spoon, we actually need this for a quest. So yay that. Bandit slacks is good. Bandit hat. Fast hands the gun, which is not as good as the gun that I have. Uh, fierce repeater, and then we actually have oh wow! So if we can get some titanium together, we'll be able to get even more stuff here. So we've unlocked both steel equipment and titanium equipment. And can I actually make everything right now? Ten? No, it looks like I need to get just a little bit more iron. So I'll be digging off camera just to do that. Might as well upgrade my equipment right now though. So bandit slacks. Let's see. We're gonna have to get rid of some of the stuff. Raw poultry. Tail. Winchester. Sorry. Uh, bandit's hood. Which is pretty neat, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. I may save it for another character. Uh, plant fibers are good. Wooden platform don't need it, although that's interesting. Uh, got a few chests here. Got some ores. Don't need bones. I'm only doing this because uh, something something. We want equipment, so yeah, I'm just kind of talking my way through this a little bit. So we need one of these. And notice you're not upgrading your equipment anymore. One of these. And how much do we need for the best? We need, uh, looks like 14 more iron. Because it takes two iron to do that. So we now go from cowpoke deputy to bandit gear. Which unfortunately I am not sure where that is. So bandit slacks, 6.5 to 15.15. Big improvement. I'm going to be a lot better at my gunplay now. Bandit hat, 25, 25, and then 10 health versus 9, 5, and 5. So that's good, and yeah. Otherwise, that's going to be it, where off-camera I'll go ahead and just get just enough iron to make the uh, deputy vest. And then we'll continue this next time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Starbound, still fun. Pretty different progression from the first time. But I think we are actually really close to going on to the next kind of big mission, which I'm going to make the focus of the next video. So hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.